Hello and welcome again to this tier long tier workshop where things come to be repaired if they've been looked at elsewhere or if they've not been you know, they've come straight away. Today I've got something that's not radio related but still electronics related because many, many of you would know I like tape recording. This is quite, quite a rare one now. Um, it's, a, it's a Walter. Um, these actually they're, not, they're quite rare because the deck they stopped producing them because of a threat from BSR over um, semi-flexes in design. Um, well, that's true, I don't know. Also with these, um, people tended to say they were um, rough sounding and not very good. So, now I've got one. Let's see if it's true or not. As always, we start by having a, a look at uh, what it's like to start with. So, that's fast forward. That's rewind. Okay. Track like that. Was a bit stiff and um, they've been distorted. So, the stuff we're going on with here, so let's have a look and see exactly what is happening and, of course, what may, may not be happening as well. These, that, by the way, this tape recorder design was something which was uh, quite near for another reason, too. The capstans in them do sometimes go to uh, go solid um, so they either work or they don't this one seems to but I'll take a bit of capstan anyway because of course it's the best thing to do isn't it so why not um, so that comes off they come off that comes off and also I'll, this the mains for now like so and I'll put this and we'll uh, put uh, certain bits out of the way and have a look inside it. Um, first thing we'll look at of course is the uh, capstan which is um, a common issue with these shall we say. Um, this one appears to be good condition, needs a new, needs a new, new uh, maidling I think and that's pretty, um, pretty small and uh, you know nowadays that will not pass muster and um, We'll see if we can find it. I've not got a manual yet, so I'll have a quick look inside and see if we can get it, uh, to get it apart without um, too much fuss. Um, like I said, these can be uh, interesting sets to work on um, because, of course, they can be, um, well, interesting in many, many different ways. You know, today on the news, we were talking a lot about COVID-19 again, and both things back into lockdown again. Now, this is because of a lot of people being, being quite frankly, stupid, very stupid. Um, it just, uh, it's just the way, the way people are these days. Not that we can do about it, actually, but um, apart from live with it for now, but I do, I do sometimes wonder. I know that some people have died of it, and I, I, I admit that uh, the Chinese have been held up for a mass murder. They won't be, but I reckon they should. But I wonder how much of it now is feared, but put on by the media. For example, schools in the UK, private schools, are still off public ones are going back next week yeah not only god gatherings are more than um well i think it's 30 people yeah yeah the kids were at school now when i was at school there were more than 30 kids there you know there were a lot there were a lot more than 30 kids so why is it okay for them 
to want to um, go back, but not uh, not the private kids. It's a very interesting question, that isn't it? And I, I would I would love to have, have a response to that from somebody. I won't get one, but I would love to hear it. I really would. By the way, I'm in Wales next week. By the way, as well, um, where the uh, the R number is slightly lower. Now the R number, for those of you who are interested, is the number of people that uh, each person with a bug or a virus infects. For example, uh, an R of minus, an R of zero means that it's not go go isn't going anywhere. Um, an R of one yeah means that it's um not really do that. no, that'll, that'll need a bit of um will be renewed all that uh yeah an hour of one is one person in, one person infects one other person now any more than that and it would be the uh, the virus will be more prevalent. Any less, of course, and it will slow die out. That is why we've got all these uh, rules about masks and things, which I, I, I fully understand. I really do. And I understand also why a lot of people are um, feel as though, you know, it's uh, you have the way it is. But I do wonder about a lot of things to do with this, I really do. If, if, you, don't, if, you, if you don't agree with it, then fine. I, I, I understand that too, and I, I accept your views. Please accept mine. But uh, otherwise, you know, you know, I do think that there's something else going on here, and I'm not the only one either. I mean, I am high risk. I've got a stroke problem, a kidney problem, and I, I have to take various drugs as a result. But I am still, despite it, re relatively healthy. So I'm not too badly off. But I know that some aren't, and I think so I'll keep the rules to keep everybody safe. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. Anyway, let's, let's, let's have my rants, let's get on with the unit. This machine has now taken nicely apart and it's going to be cleaned. The main cable has been taken off already, that has had to. I mean, these days, that is not suitable mains cable. I mean, just, just look at that. That is not suitable mains cable. The plug I can keep, although I'll put one back on this machine, but that cable. It, it can be used still if it's, if it's okay inside for links and things, but not for mains. In the days when this was built, built let's go safety was a lot ta not, not looser than it, it is now. Nowadays that would not be allowed, so it's coming off. Um, the heads have got, got to be cleaned, which I, which I, I should do in the usual way, which is, of course. A bit of this on here like that and it uh, and it goes down here like that and we clean the heads the guides the idler here and with this wheel by the way it, it's not brilliant but it's not bad but, but one thing I am, I am going to do with it is give it a dose of this stuff. Now this stuff is called Rubber Renew and this is not something to be taken lightly because this stuff is quite frankly a lethal. Never never drink this stuff, I hope we're not going to, don't. What it does is it evaporates quickly but what, it, what, what, it's, what it's actually for is to remake the rubber on the tyre. Rub it on and leave it. Now this won't look good afterwards either, 
but it does work and so it, 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 it will just give it that little bit more uh, little bit more little bit more give on it as well just a bit not a lot just a bit it, it, it will work it's not brilliant but it but it will work so that's something else which I've, which I've done um, now, and of course give the deck and the, uh, and the mechanism here a clean that's uh, the switch here which is play record pass forward and pass, pass wind and uh, it does it with this lot here so what, 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 what we do bit there bit there bit there anywhere it comes through like that switch it to play same again like that switch it to switch record which isn't doing because it isn't safe I don't think but you know it should do and also the rewinds as well like that basically all, 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 all I'm doing here now is making this thing here is uh, as loose as possible as well like that this one actually it's got a um, it's got a now that's the eraser there you see the eraser in this is, is not kept in circuit it's, 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 it's a little, little magnet yeah. if it's if it's not erasing properly I'll just uh, magnetize that again that's simply enough it's a cheap way of doing it but we used these with cassette player quite a lot but in the day it was not um, Let's say, let's say it wasn't exactly done, you know, but uh, there it was. Okay, and of course this switch here also needs a bit of uh, spray as well. What I do with this one is I, it's a spray and touch, let it roll, roll down into the unit and just uh, do that and hope some will, some, some will tick, tickle in because um, I, I don't fancy taking that off to do that properly I might have to yet but at the moment that'll do okay, under the chassis here it's a standard um, four valve circuit uh, one valve for the uh, DM70 for the um, on and, and record level ECC83 um, ECL82 is is dead eight to rectify and of course the cunt with, with, and of course it's milling cap which is of course on this see that seemingly okay it's just, just generally are okay all the all the all the eight supplies all of this on the eight supplies with other ones that take most of the current do seem to be within tolerance so i'm not going to do them but there are four uh hunts capacity in this which which will need to be changed uh, this, now, as, as regards putting your cable on, it goes on to switch here. And funnily enough, the cable going to the main transformer from the switch is actually thicker than the cable coming in from outside. Now, how they got around that, God knows, but I'm, I'm not having any chance of that. We're going to put a proper cable on as well. At which point, we switch on and see what it does and what it doesn't do. People in the past used to be quite snobbish about various types of tape recorder or radio. One example being Rank Bus Murphy because the bus stuff always more, more expensive than the, the, the or, or always cheaper than the Murphy stuff. The Murphy was more expensive than the bus stuff. But inside they were the same set, so that thing was going on even then, you know, but not as much as today. But the, the, the Phillips well they said that Phillips the seller and there was Casa. And that that telephone to record had a while ago was cheaper than its Phillips counterpart, although inside again they were the same machine there you go so anyway that's what we're up to with it and uh, now of course i've got to uh toss out a cable and four capacitors and then we'll try it so uh, until then until tomorrow i will say goodbye and of course tomorrow for you will be come up about now and zap it's tomorrow and I'm back on with the tape recorder. Um, I've now changed the caps on the board. Um, 
but not by saying it's eight by but putting the old cats say and stood into a wife because this thing is rather hard to get apart. Um, I've, I've cleaned up all the uh, all the connects and I've put a, a new cable on as well rather than that uh, that belt cable it had before. So let's see what happens. Now with this machine um, up and down are fast forward and rewind but that is play. Let's do that again. That's that's a uh, wandering the streets and gay credit places. That's uh, that's rewind. That's forward. Very hard to get up. And that is uh, and that. If we call which I'm not too not happy with on this yet, but um, you know, well, I'll, I'll look and see why it doesn't go on to record properly. It, if I hold it in, it's fine like that. Otherwise, it's not. So it's something else I, I, I need to uh, look at. Well, that's what we're up to with it. And um, by the way, this is the record. It does actually erase as well, as you can hear there. Any any bit now, it'll, it'll come back, and we should. Uh, so that music again, please go. So it's getting there. These this tape recorder, where these these they're not brilliant, but are not as bad as what they say. I went I looked on the vintage radio sites, and the comments range from "sound like a bag of nails" to "not too bad," but there are with this machine things which. Colors which have been crossed, which really should not have been. Um, I don't know why. For example, that is if you raise that come to mind. That wheel is okay, but I do need a replacement. And to get the thing apart and together again, it does actually um, take quite a bit of um, looking about. When it's firm, by the way, on the bottom plate, there is a copy of the circuit, which uh, I shall bring up to view for you. And there we are. So. A, a, a circuit there. Um, it's interesting to see that uh, the microphone sockets are different on this. Well, I've not got a microphone to fit this, so I, I will try and get something to get the, 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 the gate to record once I've found out why it's uh, it's not doing like it should be doing here. But so uh, we're getting there with it, and maybe soon it'll be a working machine of sorts. This is not the machine that I would trust my best tapes on. Um, we've seen that the tape that's on it now is the tape that ca it came with it. I will put uh, one of my test tapes on just to see what it sounds like, but uh, not not permanently, you know. Um, it is what it is, you know. They're not too bad, but not too good either, like I said. The deck is very good apart from that. The, the, this, everything on, on, on one knob thing is very good, is very good when it works. There's something not quite right here, but I will, I will sort that as well. Um, DM70 on the uh, record level, that's uh, that, 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 the, the cheap version that was also used on that Stella ad a few weeks ago. The, you, you do need to work on those. And also, I've noticed, by the way, that uh, when it's not switched to playback, um, everything is silenced, which, again, is a good thing. Uh, there are some good features on this, but there are some bad features, and what uh, were the bad features? Really, it didn't have to be used on this like that, and also um, the way it was put together. Um, again, nice and compact, but not easy, easy to get apart. Maybe a four minute of things to come, I don't know. But uh, we're getting there with it, and um, next thing we do is, is look at this here. Now, see, it's just not. It just, not holding it in place, so I'll have a look and see. Oh, it goes down, okay, so across and down. Oh, there we are, that's, uh, that's the record there. So that is now recording, but don't mark him. I wonder if it, um, if I, if I, if I get, if I get to any, uh, any sound out of it by. Doesn't look like we can. 
what's, what's, what's a try, you know, but there you are. Uh, it's a nice machine for playback only, but not for anything valuable. They are what they are, like I said, but um, every tape recorder, every radio, every TV, every record player deserves a chance, and this has got the same chance as everything else. So um, we're nearly there with it. Also, with tape recorders, anybody that starts with this business, most would re recommend that they start with radios or record players. I say tape recorders, not one of these that we're not, but certainly a, a BSN. I've got no one of those coming, by the way, uh, because a tape recorder has to be everything. I think the audio circuits, which you, you find in just about everything, um, also a circuit, like you find in radios, mechanics, you know, like you find in record players, you know. So a tape recorder is a good grounding. So always, I, I would say, start with a tape recorder. Not an expensive one, but a tape recorder all the same. Where the, uh, where the Fidelities or, or the BSM TD2 deck, something like that, just to get, get get going. I wouldn't recommend starting on one of these, although they are a nice machine. So, uh, like I said, we'll um, I'll have a look at that again, make sure, it, make sure it's okay. Cleaned up, and then hopefully, we'll, it, hopefully then it'll um, go back to doing work. But, I'm going to look and see what we can do with the record of this, just to see whether it works or not. Um, again, I've also, by the way, changed the lead, like I said, because bell wire is not suitable for, for a machine like this. And quite frankly, the fact that it was on there by the manufacturer was another shortcut which I have permanently removed from the circuit for good. So. I, this, by the way, this is uh, this is a safe block or, or a quick test. What this does, that's this thing here. Yeah. Always was having. One, one, two, three. There. Blue, neutral, green earth, obviously, and live is uh, is brown. That's modern colouring. All colouring, by the way, is is green rather than green and yellow on the earth. Black and red, but now it's uh, changed to uh, blue and brown. That's that one. And these are they're 35 quid, although I got one, this one for a bit less because I got it off somebody I know. And um, they're very worth having, very much worth having because you know you, you, you just do that and everything's dead as well. So get one, that's my recommendation for you. Get one of these, very, very, very much worth having. Um, don't look a bit pleased with um, eye ceilings and why that's dangerous, but that is that is completely safe. Just very quickly, let's, let's have a look at the circuit for this thing. It's uh, a standard tape recorder circuit, two valve circuit, but there are more, but this is a very common circuit. Um, using a lot of di di different tape recorders, um, but uh, this one, there's a the few things, a few corners cut which something will we, come to that. On playback, dead simple. In that, in, in from the head, amplifier circuit, ignore that one, that's just the uh, the M70, that's for level only, and the amplification, a, a, a pencil in the speaker, it's fairly simple, and the, this side of it with the um, rectifier is the same as any set. It's wicked to record, however. Now, when recording on a tape, you can't just use ordinary, uh, ordinary sound wave. It has to have a bias signal attached to it, but uh, only mega so. And this is it's 85 megahertz, so the, it might not be the, great, the greatest machine in the world because of that. Um, which we to record that stays as uh, amp, amp circuit, micro input is there, and um, radio input or gram input is there. Yeah, again, that comes into play now as. Um, a level meter and over here you get amplifier circuit and an oscillator circuit to put a bias on to go on the tape. The thing is with that oscillator circuit working at 85, 85 kilohertz there is no reason why they couldn't have put an ordinary erase head on this thing rather than a piece of wire but rather, rather than a, a magnet but they did. Um, it, it, again, it's more common with, with more modern machines, but this is one of the first ones that did it, so it's um, 
say a warning of things to come as it were but that's basically how this thing works um the uh, another thing which they do which uh didn't as, as, as it pleased people at the time or now most tape recorders used a phone enough to lock it here on the uh on the mark in radio in and uh, and uh out socket uh, out, out, out put and out put sockets here this one didn't it used um what it appears to be um sockets out of um old old battery portables again it was cheap it was cheap that way and it, it didn't really do things very well but that's the way the beast also with this one by the way um nothing that that uh that uh well i will say if 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 if, if, it, if it lifted up like that you see the transformer there yeah the transformer on these does does of course tend to have um 50 hertz on it and that's this really cap and that's that's the um that's the easy date to there now it's it's very close to the amplifier circuit here and so the, there could be some uh, home home from that again that really should have been over here but it wasn't it was put over there these are things which really are design issues and there's not really a lot we can do with them apart from that also with this of course in order to test it on record we need to find out where it uh, where to put the mic in because um, i might possibly put it in across that capacitor there uh, C1 on the circuit here. Put the circuit up again. Put it across there and we'll see if it records. But th that is um, a quick look at the circuit. And now also, by the way, I've also got, if it comes apart, please, thank you very much. That's the, um, that's, uh, uh, that's, that's it, that is the uh, circuit and uh, what it looks like itself. So that is that board there. So let's get, so let's, uh, I'll just get a microphone and uh, we'll see if we can get it to uh, to operate that way. Right now at this point I've got this tape recorder set up in a rather interesting way. I don't have sockets that are plugs for this. So what I've done is I've taken this crystal microphone, which it should take okay, and linked it to the crock leads and the crock leads have gone to the unit. Uh, so uh, now, of course, what, what we've got is a tape recorder linked up to a microphone without using a plug and socket, but apart from that, it's fine. So, if I was to now um, switch it on, like so, give it time to warm up, which I'm doing right now. And then now it shall come to and start to do something. If we're, if, if we're lucky, we even play like, you know. Mecca, by the way, no. If we now go to record, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The uh, the DM70 is registered in the microphone, so the microphone's connected, okay. So uh, now, possibly, it might have gone to tape as well. We'll see in a second. We tried our best anyway. We tried our best but obviously something else is up there. I don't know what because of course it might be this microphone does not suit this unit. We'll try again. We'll try again and see shall we. So that goes down like that. Shut up. One, two, three. Okay fine. 
one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, ten. See if that's in the right place now. One, two, three, four, five. I thought it's okay, it's okay. I'm going to come off. This is, I think this is microphone actually, we'll see in a minute. Okay, but this microphone appears to be uh, rather past its best, shall we say? Well, do I'll, I'll look inside, make sure everything's okay. Maybe to get the microphone, and we'll try this one again. But I can't see what else this could be because it plays fine, and all the circuitry that, that's used on playback is also used on record. And this oscillator we know is working because it erases okay. So um, yeah, interesting one. It, might, it could but well be this microphone, but. Uh, these things are sent to trials. This stage, this machine is now just about working, and I, I, I'm, well, I'm saying just about. But I'm going to leave it as it is because, unfortunately, this machine um, is um, a machine which has problems of its own, shall we say? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. They they do have their own problems, and this was a cheap machine, and. I've modified the circuit to take this microphone. I've not done it terribly well. So really, this is probably going to be as good as it will get. I mean, really, this machine it's it's not a machine which, like I said, anyone would, 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 would use. It's more of a machine that people would uh, have with a, a collector's item now. Let's see if that's uh, it's any better. We've got, we've got to get to it first, of course. probably about, uh, about as good as that machine's going to go. Um, the reason is, is that the thing is so cheap and um, the microphone it, it meant, it went, meant, meant to go with isn't with it and um, basically this is as far as I want to take this machine. It works, it doesn't work brilliantly but it works so um, now I'm going to uh, put it back together again, clean it and try it within, within, with a, another tape. That really is as far as I, I want to go with this machine. Um, as, 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 as it's had new caps to improve the playback. Um, it's been cleaned thoroughly. Um, the controls have been loosened, but uh, there are so many little faults with it that are design faults. It really is not worth doing. I mean, it's not a bad machine. It's not a bad machine as such, but it could have been a lot better. I won't say that these machines sound like a bag of nails, well, on playback anyway, but the record does leave a bit to be desired. Right, well, it's now back in its case, the case had been cleaned a little bit, and um, it does actually work quite well this actually now. 
fully machined of its age and its price. As I said before, there are certain areas in it which are, um, shall we say, being cut down, cut down prices it shouldn't have been. Most of the matter, most of the done, but there you go. It's it's what it is. Um, it plays rather well actually. Um, this tape, by the way, is my fair lady. It's an American recording. This actually. Um, these were these were very common back in the day. Tons of people had them, and there's lots knocking about. And they're ideal for testing tape recorders with. So always get a few. Get, get money eBay for next to now. Well, these came from a radio fair. But uh, this one is my fair lady, and uh, we'll hear a little bit of it in a minute. But first of all, here in Bolton at the moment, we are now the worst place in the country for coronavirus cases. I kid you not. Um, there are two sides to this, and uh, I, I must admit that in my situation, I, I do feel that you know, people, for my sake, people should keep to the keep to social distancing. Um, but having said that. I wonder how much of it is actually, it means people are actually ill with it because, um, okay, 98.5% of cases survive, but that 1% could be your son, your daughter, your grandma, your granddad, whatever. And if it, if, if it, if, if it's one of those people, then it, it does affect you. And that's what the, the government are trying to, uh, I hope the, well, the government are trying to, Minimise, but having, having said that, um, coming home from the hospital today, um, I was followed. I, I was following behind the school bus, full of kids. No two meters in sight, no one meter, and nobody had a mask on. So you wonder, don't you? It, because it's most of the kids and the young people aren't affected by it, although they can carry it. So those kids will then take the virus home to parents, grandparents, or whatever. So, you know, even if you're a kid, please, I know wearing a mask isn't the best thing in the world, and I do it when I go out, not in here, obviously, but, you know, I'm, I'm on my own in here. But um, generally speaking, you know, when I go out, I, 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 have, I have to do it in the car, you know, so please, please wear them. But at the same time, the police and such, like, please, you don't have to go in there straight away and find people, find people or, or come to, uh, drag them out of shops. Try talking to people rather than just, just being the way that the police are these days, because it uh, both sides are at fault here, I think, and um, I think the people who go out there and have rabes and all that party at the moment, they are just as bad as the police, and anyway, the worst. The police have got a job to do. Okay, some of them are, are doing it in a very heavy-handed way, which I don't condone either, but you know, your your son, your daughter will come home from one of these dudes with the virus and your mother or your father or you could get it. So, you know, it's uh, it swings and roundabouts. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my round for the day um, from Bolton, which is the worst in the country right now for cases. So, one does wonder, doesn't one? Anyway, like I said, this is uh, this is my fair lady. And it's just uh, any second now. Please. There we are. Went to watch the world, by the way, as you can hear from that. But um, yeah, this machine, there are one two things which need to be sorted out on it, which is possibly because uh, uh, if, I, if I get the original microphone for it from somewhere, I will come back to this. And also, if anyone's got a, a, a better capstone for it, then yes, please, because the one that's in it is not uh, what, what we will call brilliant condition, although I have treated it with um, rubber renew. Rubber renew, by the way, is good, but it's nasty stuff, so you get it cheap, very cheaply, but uh, be very, very careful with it because it, it, it's uh, it's not something you should get on your hands at all, believe me. That's something else to remember. Anyway, this Walter 101 is now done. I don't, I don't know quite what the bearing plots are in, but with this, I, I would want to check. And the manual does not say what uh, frequency response is either. This one seems to be pretty good, actually, but uh, you know. It is what it is, and in the day, actually, it, it might have been quite expensive. It's heavy, I know that, very heavy, because of all the metal in it, but, you know, it, two or three more pounds by today's standards, or two or three more shillings by that, then, and 
it could have been a much better machine. Maybe the, the future water machines were, but this one, I'm afraid, is the bottom of the water line. And uh, this died out, of course, in favour of the, the, the BSR one, which both Andy and I have uh, worked on. And this, this, the videos on both channels about those. I'll, I'll be doing one soon, so I'll, I'll look, look, look at Andy's page or uh, wait for me, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing one. But for now, of course, remember, remember this is Steve, Steve, Steve's long stay workshop with it, something that wasn't particularly long stay. Uh, it's working now. Um, sea capacitors, um, a clean up, and uh, a new cable because the other one really was dangerous. And it's uh, a workable machine again. And uh, what it does for its cost, it isn't. It, it is in fact rather good. It's like the answer of the day. So with that in mind, see you soon. Take care out there. Whatever your God is, be faithful to him, of course. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye and take care. And keep fixing radios. And tape recorders too, by the way, because tape recorders are a good, good way to start in the industry. So until next time, goodbye and take care. Bye-bye.